So did you know that Amazon just slipped a new app onto your Fire TV stick with the last update? And a lot of people don't know about this, but the app is called Lightning Server. And if you never heard of it, you're not alone. Today we're breaking out what the app actually does and how to find it on most devices. And most importantly, should you delete it? So we're gonna jump into the details. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So before we jump into it, if you guys haven't seen my last video, we talked about the new update that Amazon pushed, and this one was probably one of my favorite updates of the past couple months. So this update, what it did, it allowed you to essentially clear all your cash at the same time. So that way you don't need to go to individual applications to clear them one by one. So to get to that, it's pretty straightforward. You go to your applications, and you see this new option here. It tells you to clear cash on all applications. Click this button, it goes ahead and clear everything at the same time. You can see right there, I'm saving 355 megabytes of storage. So this will not only save you storage on your device, but also help your device run faster. So definitely need to check that out. So within that update, Amazon also slipped a new application in and it's called Amazon Lightning Server. So here's the deal. Amazon Lightning Server is not a streaming application and it's not anything that you'll ever see or use directly. It's actually a background service that runs within your Fire Stick. So think of it as a bridge between your Fire TV and other devices. So think about your smartphones or tablet to use your Fire TV Stick remote app or, or every time you swipe, type, or press a button on that mobile remote, the Lightning Server is the piece that makes sure the Fire TV Stick actually understands the command. So why did Amazon actually install it? So Amazon actually rolled this out quietly, as I said, behind the scenes, <laughs> and this rolled out quietly because it basically requires a system component for certain features. So without it, things like pairing your phone and remote, sending quick commands, or secure device-to-device -device communication just wouldn't work the same way. So I know a lot of folks had some concerns, some security concerns about this new thing being installed without permission, but I, for one, and I think a lot of people agree with me, this is not anything nefarious. So here's where it gets a little bit interesting. So back in 2023, researchers found a vulnerability in how the Lightning server handled pairing requests. So that means that at least in theory, some of the same network could try to mess with the Fire TV stick. But Amazon moved on this quickly. They did a, a security patch in 2023 that fixed it. And if your Fire Stick is up to date, that vulnerability is already been closed. So Enough talking about this. So where do you actually find this on your Fire TV stick? So it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna to go to your settings. Then you're gonna to go to your applications. You're gonna to go to manage installed apps. And if you scroll down, go down to the L's. You'll see it right here. Um, you do have the option to uninstall it, which I'm not sure why that's even an option if it's a needed piece. That part isn't clear to me, but um, you do have the option to uninstall it. You can clear the cache on it as well. But again, this is not something that you'll use directly. So here's the million dollar question. Should you delete this? The short answer for me is no, you probably shouldn't. And here's why removing it could break the Fire TV Stick remote app on your phone. Other device to device features might stop working. It's a signed Amazon system app, so it's not spyware or bloatware. It actually is necessary for certain features. So the only real reason to disable it would be if you never use the mobile app, don't connect other devices, and just want to slim down your Fire TV Stick. But for 99% of people, this is safe and this should be left alone. So yes, Amazon did install this app without really telling anyone, but it's not some shady spyware. It's just a part of how the Fire TV Stick work. So my advice is to leave it alone, keep the Fire TV Stick updated, at least until they start blocking third-party applications again. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Did you receive any of these updates? Do you have this installed on your device? I think my updates started coming through on Fire TV Q, but now I'm starting to see it on the Fire TV Stick Pros and other devices, but seems like we're completely up to date. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.